Are you looking for Miley? Looking for fried rice? No, no good fried rice? talk today a little bit about rice specifically chicken fried rice uh, the city or the town where I live the city I live in is kind of small uh, a lot of the Chinese restaurants or Asian cuisine restaurants have been closing down so chicken fried rice if you love chicken fried rice it's kind of hard to come by right now or, or mostly let me just say good chicken fried rice so today I have a recipe that's just for you here's my chicken fried rice Come on in and let's talk about ingredients. We're starting off with one and a half breasts of skinless boneless chicken cut into small pieces, okay? And then we're gonna have uh, a half cup onion, a teaspoon of garlic, one and a half tablespoons of butter, green onion. I have uh, frozen mixed vegetables that I've already thawed out and get as much of the water out already. Two eggs. Now for our seasoning here, I'm gonna use some of the chicken bouillon, black pepper, kosher salt. I'm gonna use sesame oil. I'm gonna use soy sauce. And finally, I have this uh, seasoning here. It's much like chicken bouillon, but this is an Asian style. It's called dashi, and it's basically a fish stock. It's called dashi. We just use a very little of it. So now, on to making our chicken fried rice. So the first step in making your chicken fried rice is to make your rice. Of course, we're using jasmine rice, but I want to season uh, my the, the water as well. So I have a uh, one and a quarter cups of water. I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of oil, a teaspoon of oil, and I also want to put in a teaspoon of salt. Uh, I'm using kosher salt, so let's just get a teaspoon of this in here so we can season our rice a little bit. Here comes our jasmine rice. We're gonna pour in. It's one cup of jasmine rice. Give it a little stir. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat. Once your rice is in, you wanna cover it. Put it on low and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Now under making our chicken fried rice, I have a wok uh, that I bought about two weeks ago. I've used it a couple times. As you see, it's starting to get seasoned. That means uh, it doesn't stick so much. You can use a big skillet you have. Uh, if you want to use a Dutch oven, whatever is easier for you. I just like the space. So here we go. We're going to start off with some oil and I'm just using uh, my olive oil that I normally use. Move it around a little bit. And we're going to come in with two eggs. Two eggs. The process here is pretty quick. You want to keep it going, okay? And keep everything moving. One and a half chicken breasts. Bring it in. You want to cook this chicken breast to about 90% doneness. All right. Bring up the heat. I was on medium. Now I'm on medium high. 
uh, season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a touch here. Salt and pepper. Now since my wok is rather new, uh, I'm trying to keep anything from sticking. Uh, this one here is what they call carbon steel. And of course the trick to this is to just keep it moving. Uh, that sounds funny from my movie, my kid like, all right, keep it moving. Next, we're gonna bring in our, our vegetables here. We have one and, a, one and a half cups of your favorite frozen mixed vegetables. I thawed them out a little bit with some water and, and I took out as much water as I could. You, you don't want so much water coming in. All right. Along with your vegetables, go ahead and bring in uh, your onion. Cook them together with the vegetables. You want your, your wok hot because, uh, of course, the whole idea of fried rice is that it's uh, being cooked in there. Maybe get a little crunchy parts, some color on the vegetables, some color on the chicken. Uh, you don't want it boiled, uh, but you want it fried. So uh, I, I'm bringing the heat up. I'm keeping the heat up even as it's cooking. Okay, onto our rice. We've had our one cup jasmine rice that I cooked about half an hour ago. Uh, and so stir that in, bring that in. I just let it cool off on the side. Um, jasmine rice, I, I just cooked it today, about 30 minutes ago. So just start folding this in. Start folding your rice in. Along with your vegetables and your chicken. All right, we're gonna put some salt in here. Full of pinches of salt. Put in some more black pepper. All right. We're gonna bring in our garlic. Gonna put in our chicken bouillon. Get our chicken bouillon in there. Keep this, I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. Now that the whole wok is hot. Gonna put in a little bit of this dashi here. Uh, just a little bit of dashi. Maybe a, maybe a quarter teaspoon. It's just for a light flavor. We're gonna bring in our butter. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Getting some color here already. The fried rice moving. Get that all this flavor distributed. All right, now we're gonna put in a handful of our green onion here, just like that. Get this going as well. Our fried rice is almost complete. You just want everything nice and hot, nice and hot. The last couple of steps we have here is just our soy sauce and then our sesame oil. Don't over, don't go overboard on the soy sauce. And this is just regular soy sauce. All right. This brings in some flavor and some color. Last but not least, we're gonna bring in our sesame oil. You gotta be very careful with sesame oil. You can easily go overboard with it. Uh, it might be the equivalent to about a quarter teaspoon, uh, but about 10 to 15 drops is good. Sesame oil. And there you have it. This is our chicken fried rice.
We want to remove it from the heat and on to plating. All right, so you get a nice bowl. Put your chicken fried rice inside. I believe your kids, I know your kids are really gonna enjoy this fried rice. It's a good recipe, a lot of flavor that you can make at home. And I like hitting the top with a little bit more of that, a little more of that green onion, just, just for looks. This is your chicken fried rice. I hope you give this chicken fried rice a try in your home. I believe you're really gonna enjoy it. My name is Steve Lopez. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay home, eat great. I encourage you to subscribe, share, to like. Uh, let others know about this channel so that I can keep getting these excellent recipes to you. Send me some feedback. If you've tried any of my recipes, I also encourage you to uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about them, especially this chicken fried rice. Once again, I'm Steve Lopez. God bless you and be safe. Oh,